Hey everybody, this is Justin Rain from Blackstone here in Vancouver from my humble abode. Uh, coming up from junior high into high school, I was a very angry young man. Uh, more specifically because of the absence of my father. I grew up in a small community in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, uh, where racism lives. Uh, prejudice and and uh, I was going through a lot of uh, identity crisis issues. Uh, most of my family, our culture and native traditions are pretty much severed from both sides of my family and that took its toll on me. I felt less than others who had both parents in the house um, I was angry. I thought it was my fault for a period of time. Uh, and I was ashamed of who I was because I didn't know who I was really as a First Nations person. And I didn't like those feelings. Um, the weight was heavy. Uh, things got darker. My attitude changed. And I didn't like it, so I started doing drugs, started drinking. And that escalated into a whirlwind of uh, chaos and rebel. Um, I lost friends to suicide, I lost friends to drunk driving accidents. Uh, we were all angry and disgruntled in some sort of way. And uh, my drug addiction escalated to a point where I overdosed three times in my senior year of high school. Shortly after that, I contemplated taking my own life. Um, and I just resisted everyone around me that was trying to help. Uh, one thing that I realized coming out of that last overdose was I had stopped creating. Um, I wasn't that little boy anymore who loved Legos and loved to draw and, and paint and build things. Uh, I was something else and I wasn't doing any of that uh, so I had to find that little boy again and start creating because all I was doing was destroying myself and hurting the people that loved me in my uh, in my proximity um, so I moved to Vancouver I started making friends in the film industry and I fell in love with acting because of my first acting studio experience. I found myself surrounded by people who were extremely, uh, excuse my language, fucked up. They were all fucked up. They all had some sort of significant trauma or traumas that they had been through. And, uh, and that sucked and it hurt and, you know, it, it left scars. But every single one of these people were in there, in this studio, they were happy, they were smiling, and they were able to relive these significant moments in their lives, whether it be pain or happiness, through something creative, which was acting. And I hadn't done any therapy at all, really. I resisted counselors at, at high school. Um, I resisted anyone that kind of offered a, an open conversation to me. Um, because emotion and vulnerability was something that was frowned upon, you know. Uh, today, I'm happy to cry myself to sleep, I'm happy to scream into a pillow, and I'm also very happy to set an appointment up with my counselor when things get really heavy. Um, and I guess if I could lend a message to, for anyone to hold on to out there, it's you know, it was starting to create again, starting to, to paint, to write, to draw, to, to perform. That creative uh, thing inside of me that I started to release again, that's what saved my life. I truly believe that if we're not creating, we are destroying. And that's what brought uh, purpose to my life and brings purpose to a lot of the people that I surround myself with. Thank you.